Hey YouTube, it's ICU. Today, Apple released iOS 8.2 Beta 5 to registered developers. I want to discuss that as well as go over the current jailbreak status for iOS 8.1.3. All right, now starting off, while we are going to talk about 8.1.3, it's going to be later. If you're on the desktop version of YouTube, there will be two annotations on the screen now, one to actually skip ahead, and the second one is to my dedicated coverage. So as I mentioned prior to the intro, this video is going to be primarily focused on iOS 8.2 Beta 5. Earlier today, Apple seeded the firmware to register developers. Let's go ahead and switch over here and get started. So following the release of iOS 8.1.3, the jailbreak patching firmware last week, the company seeded the fifth beta iteration of iOS 8.2 being 8.2 Beta 5 to developers enrolled in the company's official iOS developer program. As always, Apple's latest beta is available for immediate download via either the traditional iOS Developer Center on Apple's site or as an OTA, which stands for Over the Air Update through the Settings app for devices running either iOS 8.2 Beta 3, Beta 4, Beta 2, or the original beta. And additionally, today's iOS 8.2 beta features a slightly revised build number over its predecessor of 12D5480A compared to 12D5461B. Now similar to how Taiji won't jailbreak or function on iOS 8.1.3, the tool will not support iOS 8.2 as it currently stands. So continuing here, as alluded to previously, the build for the latest beta is a slight step up from its predecessor, suggesting very minor changes between the beta firmwares. The newest version simply corrects a bug that restricts Facebook from functioning properly and the calendar from syncing in certain rare instances. Seriously, that's it. For now, as I've detailed numerous times before, iOS 8.2's main focus is the upcoming Apple Watch. The firmware primarily includes support for the new smart wearable, and it was released alongside Xcode 6.2 Beta 5, which includes WatchKit integration for Apple's SDK or software development kit, again, for the device. Now, while iOS 8.2 is unquestionably intriguing for developers interested in creating new apps specifically for the Apple Watch, jailbreakers should have an entirely different view on the new beta firmware, considering the changes are irrelevant to the end user without the Apple Watch in play. Additionally, the new 8.2 Beta 5 release contains Apple's Taiji jailbreak patching remedies introduced in iOS 8.1.3, which means those who update to 8.2 Beta 5 could potentially be locked out of jailbreaking once Apple ceases to sign iOS 8.1.2. In other words, Apple will stop signing restores to iOS 8.1.2. It's only a matter of time, and when that happens, individuals with devices able to update to iOS 8 will only be able to restore to iOS 8.1.3 again locking them out of jailbreaking. And while it's currently uncertain whether Taiji, Pangu, or even PP, although significantly less likely considering they utilize the same vulnerabilities publicized by Taiji for their Mac adaptation of the tool, will release a new jailbreak for either iOS 8.1.3 or the far off 8.2 firmware, it's definitely a possibility. That being said, it's more likely that the latter of the two aforementioned firmwares will receive a jailbreak, being 8.2, considering iOS 8.1.3 is an extremely minor release, and the fact that 8.1.3 closes not only Taiji's primary kernel exploit, but also several other key vulnerabilities. Now to preserve your device's iOS 8.1.2 jailbreak, again it's crucial that you avoid updating entirely, whether it's to iOS 8.1.3 or iOS 8.2, as both will result in the instant loss of your untethered 8.1.2 jailbreak. And although it's currently possible as of recording this video, to downgrade to iOS 8.1.2, it won't be for much longer. So again, avoid updating altogether. And I will actually have a link on the screen now via an annotation form to my iOS 8.1.2 downgrade tutorial. However, keep in mind that it won't last for long and once Apple does stop signing iOS 8.1.2, it will no longer be possible. So if you're on 8.1.3, then just be sure to downgrade and jailbreak now while you still can. But if you're on 8.1.2 or earlier, you can of course still jailbreak using 
using either Taiji for Windows or PP for Mac, OS X, or OS X. And with that said, as of now, we're currently uncertain of the jailbreak developments going on behind the scenes, but we do know that Taiji is at the very least working on creating a new jailbreak utility for 8.2. As of now, again, remember, it's less likely that an iOS 8.1.3 jailbreak will be released, but it's still a possibility. Again, we are looking forward to the future being iOS 8.2 and the forthcoming Apple Watch, both of which will drop in April. So just be sure to stay tuned for complete coverage concerning the latest jailbreak status. If you have yet to jailbreak, follow any of my untethered jailbreak tutorials for iOS 8. I hope you guys liked this video. If you found it useful, be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Remember, avoid updating at all costs if you're currently jailbroken. And if you want to be updated more often, in addition to subscribing to my channel, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Thank <laughs> you.